Hey Virgo, thank you so much for coming to your love reading. This should resonate for Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Uh, cross watchers, it can be reversed sometimes. Uh, so if you're looking at the situation and the other person is more so uh, your your person, then you're probably the person um, who's sign it is. So sometimes it just comes up reversed. Um, with that being said, please like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell if you want to receive alerts for when I post my readings. All right, what is the current energy for Virgo or what, what is the energy for Virgo romantically? What's the overall energy for Virgo? Okay, we have the chariot. All right, what is Virgo's current partner's energy? What is Virgo's partner's energy? What is their, okay, Knight of Pentacles. There's Virgo. Some of you may be dealing with a Cancer or a Gemini or another Virgo. How does Virgo feel romantically about their person of interest? Okay. It's weird, though, because the Ace of Wands is reversed. But I'll keep going. What is the current situation between Virgo and their person of interest romantically? What's the current situation between Virgo and their person of interest romantically? What's the current situation between Virgo and their person of interest? Okay. Ace of Cups. And what is the best potential outcome here for Virgo romantically? Whoa. Okay. Judgment. I'm also going to pull a um, Doreen Virtue card as well. What's the best potential outcome here for Virgo and their person of interest romantically for Virgo? Okay. Worth waiting for. Yes. Okay. I like this. So, first things first, um, your reading is probably the first reading where it's had, like, a mixture. So, it has pentacles, it has cups, it has wands. So, I feel like this month is going to be somewhat balanced for you. Now, for the energy, I do want to say this. Um, let me not light this on fire really quick. Hold on. Okay, for you, there is a level of forward movement or almost a victory. Why, where is the chariot moving towards for Virgo? For their energy. Justice. Some of you may be dealing with a Libra. I think for the time being, honestly, like things are going well. Which is crazy because the Ace of Wands is reversed, but I feel like that's only because of what's going on currently. Also, too, Justice here, it's, it's really about balancing the scales. I think you feel good. I think uh, the energy for this month is your heart and your mind. Those are both at ease right now. Can you give me more information on the energy? Queen of Pentacles. Okay, some of you may be dealing with a Capricorn or a Cancer. And honestly, Virgo, you've been coming up in everybody's readings. Which is cool. Why, why is the Queen of Pentacles here? It's a very comfortable type of energy. Look, Seven of Pentacles reversed. You're in a very comfortable state. I feel like some of you guys are okay financially because you've probably planned, unlike, you know, a lot of people. Um, I also feel like, too, though, I don't know. I just think you guys are in a really good place. You're no longer waiting for something that's just not going to come through. Also, too... Um, I feel like for you, you're very solid and safe and comfortable. You know, it's funny because, um, those of us that are introverted and don't like to go outside or don't really like to like mingle, like the, um, I'm in California. So we're on that shelter in place, right? We really can't leave the house. I'm okay with it because I don't leave the house anyways. So I feel like for you guys, it's like, this is where you're comfortable. This is where you're safe. Um, I also feel like, too, there's a level of romance in the air. And I, I feel like 
you know, the situation between you and your partner, it, it, it's not one that is ready to break up. It's not, you know, it's just, I feel like it's going easy for you. How would, yeah, how would you feel about this energy? Eight of Wands. Sag and Mercury. But I do feel like there is something um, that is being communicated. And I feel like for you, it's it, it's also like very optimistic, looking forward, you know, know knowing where you want to expand, if you want to be with this person. And it's like, you're very positive and very optimistic right now. That's, that's how you feel. Like things are actually moving in the right direction. Karma for you is doing well. Um, yeah, look, four of wands with a double. Okay. Some of you may be having quite a bit of sex. Some of you may actually just be tied down. Um, be careful if, if, you or your partner are drinking too much or partying too much with drugs. I do want to say that. So that's kind of the energy. I'm going to ask one more time. How, how does Virgo feel about this Queen of Pentacles? The world reversed. Somebody from your past may be coming back, but hold on. Like, you may be seeing somebody. This may be somebody at work that you know. Because there's pentacles here. What, uh, how does Virgo feel about the queen of pentacles? Virgo feel about this queen of pentacles. Yeah, three of pentacles. Yeah, I feel like for you, and it's funny, this is heavy Capricorn energy. For some of you guys, it's really making it work right? Really putting the work, the hard work in. It's also to a very controlled type of environment. Like I feel like this person, like you're very controlled right now. Um, very determined, very goal oriented. Um, what else? And I feel like right now, a lot of you guys are either working on your relationship, right? Some of you may be getting proposed to, or this can just be like working on yourself. All right. So your partner's energy is the Knight of Pentacles. So it's interesting that they're coming up as the same energy that, let's say, you, uh, you know, your energy. Why is the Knight of Pentacles here for their partner's energy? Look, Knight of Pentacles, there you are. This person also can be making some type of offer to you. And it's really beautiful how, um, in my opinion, how this is looking. Because the Nine of Pentacles, that's Venus in Virgo. I feel like your partner's energy is this. This person is not really the flirtatious type. But this person's energy is coming up like, hey, I want to make this work. It's also like... This person isn't, um, they're coming up as somebody that may not be into material possessions, which is interesting because it's pentacles. Or on top of it, it's like this person gives gifts of commitment or devotion, or this person knows everything about you, your favorite color, your favorite flower. They're very sensitive when it comes to love. And I think they're very reserved for most people except for you. And I feel like this person cares about you a lot, which is why they're willing to give whatever it takes. One more card, please. Two of Cups. Cancer Venus. Yeah, I feel really good about this person, actually. Possibly a Cancer Venus um, or another Virgo. Yeah, this person does better in commitments. And they're very sensitive. And I feel like this person is going to give you right? Three of Pentacles, for me, that's a level of stability. This person definitely gives you what you want, right? The comfort, the care, um, you know, they love a solid relationship. They're turned off when things are a mess. They don't like that. Also, too, it's 
this person may be worried about being left behind. Okay. Um, also, too, they're very protective. Very romantic. I like it. I feel like you are going to start having these conversations. Because I feel like right now things are going to start changing. We have a fortune. Maybe this person is a Sag. What's changing? The page of pentacles reversed. That makes sense. I feel like this person is stepping up to the plate and now they're offering you something much more solid. Right? Page of pentacles is reversed. That's kind of just, you know, boring. This is like dating and then this person's like, let's make it official. So if you're dating this person, this person is more serious about the relationship versus anything else. All right. So how you feel about this person is the Ace of Wands. Reverse. Why is Ace of Wands reversed? For how Virgo feels about their person of interest romantically. With the Fool. Possibly a Pisces or an Aquarius. Give me one more card here, please. What message do you want me to relay? For some of you guys, um, How you feel about them is one, there's not a lot of action right now. I think that you view this person as very free, very open, but also too, like there is a level of weight here for some reason with you and the person. But you know what? These don't make sense to me especially with the energy. So I'm going to ask it one more time just to be completely certain that I'm giving you guys the right information. How does Virgo feel romantically about their person of interest? How does Virgo romantically? Strength. Okay, that makes more sense to me. Also too, I think that this person's definitely been through a lot. And I think for you, you acknowledge it. They're very prideful. Um, but they're also, they have a way of doing something. They have a way of handling, um, issues or situations and it's very quietly, I feel like, and it, and it, and it, it's also too, it's like this person, I feel like you feel like they're very loyal. Four of wands, Venus and Aries. It's like 11, 11, the portals are open. You feel like you, you know, definitely could see yourself with this person. I mean, the Four of Wands is beautiful. I love that energy. Because it's really about listening. I feel like you, you feel like this person listens to their instincts. And they're very quick to act, right? I also feel like, too, like this person... is very fascinated with your hair or your face. Like, I feel like they touch your hair or your face a lot. And I feel like they have an over expression of their emotions. Like, like there's somebody who will communicate how they feel. And it's a very light energy. Yeah, the magician. So this definitely can be another Virgo, it can be a Gemini, it can be a Scorpio or an Aries. But I feel like you, you really do admire this person because here this is how you feel about them. You're viewing them as a magician, you view them, you view them as your equal. Even if you've not expressed that yet, I feel like. I also think too, sometimes it can be uh, a little intimidating with this person where you really think about everything.
that's what's coming in. So for your situation, you have the Ace of Cups. Why is the Ace of Cups here for Virgo with the Hierophant? Mm, high Priestess, there's Taurus, Heavy Taurus Energy, Pisces, Cancer. I feel like somebody says something or somebody confesses something that they've been hiding. What are they confessing here? What's being confessed? What's being confessed here? Ten of Wands. It's movement. Let me ask a different question. Oh, what the hell? Okay. Why is the High Priestess here? Or what's being hidden? The Ace of Pentacles. Okay, see, so I'm not crazy. There is an offer here that's being hidden. And I do feel like Ace of Cups, Ace of Pentacles, this is either, this is either a new start or there is something very new happening that hasn't happened before with this person. Your person of interest, to be honest, for some of you guys that are single, your person of interest is yourself. Loving yourself, you know, um, no longer accepting something that isn't going to serve you, but that's changing. I also feel like um, how you feel is you have to be strong because somebody is coming in that's going to make you very happy. So for the singles, that's definitely what's happening, especially since this came up as your partner's energy. However, I do feel for both singles and couples, this right here, this is definitely something new. And it's something that's worth waiting for. And I feel like it may be somebody from your past coming back or a karmic relationship. Maybe not karmic. Well, yeah, karmic relationship or like a soulmate from the past or something like that. So as you can see here, you have worth waiting for in judgment. Okay. As the outcome, divine timing is at work in your love life. Okay. So for those of you that this has brought enough uh, clarity for, thank you so much. And I appreciate you guys for bearing with me during the time that um, I wasn't here. So I love you. Be safe. And I'll talk to you soon. Peace.